After creating the cutwork objects, select an object and place a check mark by running before. And you can do this with each of the objects, including the line that you created. After the running before is added, you can change the offset. It can be a positive number or a negative number. A positive offset will place the running before outside the object. A negative offset will place the running before inside the object. Click on the up arrow or you can swipe across the value, enter the number you wish, and press enter. Usually a one millimeter offset is enough unless you're working with a very ravelly fabric. Adding a running before does create a better cut by stabilizing the fabric onto the stabilizer prior to the cut. I'll add a negative offset to this second object so you can see that the negative offset will be set inside the cutwork object. For the cutwork line, I'll increase the offset to one and press enter. And you can see that it will go on one side of the cut line. You can change the length of the running stitch by using the up and down arrows or highlighting the value and entering a new value. If you change the cutting offset, this moves the outline of the object from the cut line. The range is from minus 15 to plus 15. So if I enter a value of two, you can see how the cutting area gets larger. By placing a check mark by running, a running stitch is added after the cut line is made and you can choose any one of the over 500 stitches. The offset, the length, the number of passes, and the style of running stitch can be changed for this. The running stitch is also used to stabilize the fabric after the cut to prepare for net fill.